What's up everyone, how are you doing? Today I've decided to show you a quick way to extract data from Twitter without the API, without authenticating yourself to your account and also without using Selenium or any browser emulator. So this package is very powerful. Uh, Twint uh, allows you to fetch Twitter data directly from the command line or from the script. And basically it has many features that allows you, for example, to specify the username that you want to scrape, search keywords, and more advanced parameters like the date and the, the geolocation, for example. And you can, at the end, specify the output format that you want, either in CSV file or JSON format or SQLite, etc. You can run the same script here, but directly from a notebook or Python script by specifying a configuration object and setting the same parameter as here. And then you can also some advanced visualization, for example, by plugging this tool to a graph visualization or Kibana, which is based on Elasticsearch. So basically this is very cool and we can use this script in two ways and I will show you now how to do this. But before doing that, let me show you how to install this package. Basically, it's uh, if you go to the readme of this repo, you'll see a pip install. Don't do this because uh, you'll have a problem executing the search uh, operation. So the right way to install this package is by cloning the repo and then installing the requirements locally. Once you're done, you're ready to go. So basically, let me show you how to use this script directly from a Jupyter Notebook. Okay, so we will copy paste a small snippet. Okay. Let me just import twint first. Then we'll set the configuration file. Now, I mean, I ignored Donald Trump because I don't really like him. And let's search, for example, for... Uh, let's say COVID. Okay. Okay. So let's run this. Okay. As you see, we have an error and yet we are getting some data, but we can circumvent this error by importing a package. This event loop is already running. Actually, to make our twin package run inside the Jupyter Notebook, we'll have to actually import a package called nest async.io. And then we'll have to call the apply method nest async.io call dot apply. Let me relaunch the kernel. Okay, now I think we're good to go. So as you can see here, we are uh, extracting the tweets. Basically, the tweet, these tweets are not generated live. If you look closely, they are generated, uh, okay, right now, but they are not the streaming tweets that we would get from the API. If you go through the tweets, you will see that some of them are fetched from a history. Basically, with Twint, you won't have any API limitation, which is very good if you want, for example, to harvest a lot of data on a specific use case. Okay, so let's see now that I want to store this data in a JSON format, which is the most uh, handy way to store objects. So, okay, we'll have to specify the store JSON parameter. Okay, so let's set it to true. And then we'll have to specify an output. Okay, let's say that the output is called COVID demo one dot json let me run the script for about 10 seconds and we'll see after that what we gathered what we gathered as data okay so one two three let's stop it now okay i'm gonna import pandas Okay, you may have this weird thing because we are running nest async io, but it's not a problem in our case. Now let's say that I want to import this new data. Okay, so it's COVID demo one. Yeah, 
as you see here, we have a problem importing this data. It's normal because this data is formatted in lines. It's not a JSON object inside a list. So basically to circumvent this error, we'll have to add the lines argument and set it to true. Okay, so basically now I have imported our data. And if you look at the shape, okay, let me just restart the kernel because this is really annoying, right? Okay. So uh, we have our, we have run our script in about maybe uh, 20 seconds and or we have already uh, 6,000 tweets, which is really awesome because imagine if you run the script for about one day or two, you get millions of tweets. So, okay, so let me just check the data. I'm gonna just tweak the display a little bit to, to display all the colon. Max colon equal 100, let's say. So as you see here, we are gathering the ID, the creation date, the date, the time zone, etc. And we are also getting the name of the tweet, uh, the Twitter account, the tweet, the language, which is very good if you want to do uh, uh, filtering on some specific languages. And we we'll get also the retweets, the videos, the thumbnail, etc. We'll have a lot of stuff. And basically this data, all this metadata, you would get it directly from the API. But here you are using Twint and you are not using the API and you also don't have any limitation. So isn't that great, right? Okay, now uh, let me show you how to run the same operation but from the command line because some people would like to do that as well. Imagine for example that you are launching a Amazon uh, machine on the cloud for about two hours. You want to run the script inside it. So you can run from the terminal and detach it in a screen. And basically this will run in the background and you can go two hours later and grab your data. Basically to do this, after importing and installing uh, Twint, you can call it from the terminal. Basically if you hit the Twint command, you'll have options that you can execute. For example, I want to search about COVID and vaccines, I can do this. As you see, we are looking at the results right now. Now, let's say, for example, that I want to store this in a JSON format. So basically, this option can be added by dash dash dot JSON. And then I want to output this file inside so let's say COVID demo 2. Okay. So I can do this as well. It will run the same fetching operation. And once it's done, I can collect my data and read it. Okay. Demo is here. Now, data. Let's call it data v2. So, yeah. Line equal true. And then data v2 shape. We have 700 tweets. Maybe the tweet running from the command line is slower than the one running from the Jupyter notebook. I haven't really tested, but maybe this is uh, some related to Twint. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Now you have a powerful package. You can extract as many tweets as you want. You can do a lot of stuff on that. For example, if you want to analyze a specific topic, you can collect this data and you can apply some natural language operations on it directly on the fly. For example, you can do sentiment analysis, you can do topic extraction or name DTT extraction, for example. If you want to monitor what people say about a specific topic and what entities they mention in correlation with this given subject. And you can feed all this data inside a Elasticsearch database on which we can plug a dashboard called Kibana to visualize this data. And then you can also put some alerts on top of your metrics. For example, if for a given search keyword, 
you'll have a volume that exceeds a specific threshold, you can trigger some alerts. So you can do a lot of things. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. I hope this was useful to you. If you like the content of this channel, please uh, hit the subscribe button or the like button of this video. And to follow more content about uh, data engineering, data science, and data extraction, see you in next videos.